Hi, I'm Soleil Weed. I'm in 11th grade and I am taking Sports Med 3 with teacher Isaiah Tanasi. And this is my third project about strength and conditioning for a high school track runner. You may be wondering, what is strength and conditioning? Strength and conditioning is where a professional instructor who uses exercise prescription to improve the performance of competitive athletes or athlete teams. This is achieved through the combination of strength training, aerobic conditioning, and other methods. Anyone can perform strength and conditioning all over their body. My client for my third project is Lauren Ramzos. Lauren is in 11th grade and is a 16 year old. Lauren has lived in Tahoe all her life. She is very active and always going on hikes, swimming in the lake, and skiing and going outside. Lauren has done track for seven years and continues to pursue her track career. For track, she performs the one by four, the 100, 200, and 400 meter dash. Lauren has done cross country in the past for three years with stop because of interference of another sport. Lauren also goes to the Barton Altis workouts with a trainer by her side two, weeks a, two days a week and is working on all the muscle groups and endurance. Some research I discovered was the main muscles used when running are the hamstrings, quads, and the glutes. To help gain endurance is you have to get your heart rate up and getting your breathing up. Also, a Good off-season workout for a runner is running and lower body workouts that strengthen her legs and gain muscle so you don't get as tired as fast. My client and I came up with a goal of strengthening her lower body while she is on off-season of track. We focus mainly on the quadriceps, glutes, quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings. These are my steps for my project. My first step was I got together with my client, Lauren went over her schedule throughout the week, which includes the Barton Altus workouts and work. We also did her pre-testing and step two. We implied the exercises I had brought together to create a program that works around her schedule. Step three, we did her post-testing and I did her quote and heard what she thought about the program. Step four, I created my Google Slides and my brochure. This is my pre-testing for my client, Lauren. I still can't figure out how to upload the videos on my slides, so I have taken screenshots of the videos and put them on. I tried getting the best screenshot. Um, I made her perform three workouts for her pre-testing. The first one was the pacer test. To test her endurance, I made her do the 20 meter pacer test and made her do it till she was fatigued. Lauren got 77 laps in. Her second test was air squats with no weights. The test includes, or works on, all three muscles. We are focusing on uh, as the quadriceps, the glutes, and the hamstrings. She performed 42 squats, so she got fatigued. The third test was the wall sits. Wall sits target the quadriceps and the glutes. Lauren got 53 seconds, so she was fatigued. Overall, I believe Lauren's pre-testing was very good. She was pretty strong. This is my graph for my pre-testing. I found the average of what a 16 year old girl should do. And the average for the pacer test was 47 and Lauren got a 77. For squats, the average was 35 and Lauren got a 42. And for wall sits, the average was a minute and Lauren got 53 seconds. For my workout, I made a workout with six exercises and all the exercises have three sets. The first exercise I included was the glute bridge. Glute bridges works on the hamstrings, the quads, and the glutes. I made her do 10 reps in three sets. The next workout I included was squats. I made her do seven reps and three, or weighted squats, and I made her do seven reps in three sets. Squats target the hamstrings, quad, quadriceps, and the glutes as well. The next workout I included was the jump lunges. I made her do 10 reps in three sets. And the lunges target quads and glutes and hamstrings once again. The next workout was the clamshell, but instead of using a band, she had her mom hold her leg down. She did it very slow. I made her do 10 reps and three sets. Clamshells targets the glutes. The next workout I made her do was mountain climbers. I made her do 25 reps and three sets. This targets endurance and glutes. And for the last workout, I made her do a run around the block and her block was around a half a mile. 
in this targets endurance, quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings. I made her do these workouts on the weekdays, except for the weekend she had off. For post-testing, I made her do the pacer test, and she got 63 laps. She said she could only do 63 laps because it was very cold and it was hurting her lungs. So it did bring down her average. The second test I made her do was 50 was the squats and she got 58 squats and for the test three made her do the wall sit again and she got a minute and 37 seconds for the graph on the post graph i also did the average and how many she did and the average once again for the pacer was 47 and she got 63 the average for squats was 35 and she got 58 and the average for the wall sit was a minute and she got 1 minute 37 seconds. She increased her average on both squats and wall sits but not the pacer test because of the cold weather. At the end of this program, I captured a quote from my athlete and I asked my athlete Lauren how she felt and her thoughts about the two week long strengthening process. She said, and I quote, honestly, I didn't want to do the workouts because it was getting cold, but once I did them, I felt good about myself. Sometimes I would forget to do them before, so I would do them before bed. I liked working with Slay because she is so easy and explained everything very well. This workout was full of strengthening exercises that I feel I definitely benefited on. Thank you for watching my presentation, and if you have any questions or comments, please email me. Thank you.